Hi Sagittarius, these are going to be your July 2020 predictions for love and relationships. It's good for the sun, rising, moon, and Venus sign of Sag. Keep in mind, as always, this is a general reading. It's not a personal reading meant for just one of you, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. Check your rising, moon, or Venus sign. You could find messages there. Next week, I will put out readings for July forecast for all 12 zodiac signs on my other channel, Soma Chandra. The link to that channel is in the description below. I will put out something for you there as well because I read for all zodiac signs there. If you want a message to resonate with you 100% about health, wealth, love, or destiny, or your spiritual path, book a private reading with me. The link to that channel is um, and to my website for scheduling is in the description below. So Sagittarius, I see that for July, you guys are going to be doing some clearing out of energy that's no longer serving you. I think you guys are going to be reevaluating your past a bit. And I think that you're needing to be reminded of communication. You might have some difficult communications with someone in July from the end of June moving into July. And it's putting you in this seven of pentacles energy. Overall, the energy for July will be the seven of pentacles. This is uh, the Starman Tarot. Um, it is a deck that's inspired by the life and work of David Bowie. I know you guys love this deck. I don't use it a lot because the images are so beautiful, but they're so busy. They give me a headache. But in this deck, as you can see, he's waiting. The Seven of Pentacles feels like a feeling of futility. We wait. We watch over something. We are very invested in the present moment, in, you know, invested in the present. But it's because we're waiting for something to happen. We're waiting for a return on an investment. We feel like we've worked so hard for something so we stand there and we wait for something to grow. We wait for this money tree to bear fruit in our lives. This could be about work or romantic relationships. And while you're doing all that waiting and being patient, waiting for this garden to bear fruit, you start to examine the past. So I think you guys are going to be a little bit mopey, but I think you're going to do a little bit of back and forth. And I think you're going to be in a place of emotional reevaluation. It does definitely look very relationship to me. So the first card that came out was Taming the Wind. You could be dealing with an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or you've got that in your chart. This is usually about a ceremony of some kind that we have to do. We have to be very ritualistic in our lives about clearing our space, smudging ceremonies, clearing out clutter, clearing out toxic energy that no longer serves us getting things out of our lives and taming this fierce wind um, so that we can make room for something new and better. It is about direct and clear communication, making it very clear with people what your boundaries are, what you want, what you don't want. You will face that in July, in particular with intimate relationships. The blade came out in reverse. Some of you are dealing with an air sign. This is the Ace of Swords, okay? The blade is a weapon that cuts cords. And when it's in the upright, it does it in a very positive way. And you're reminded, you know, you shouldn't have to worry about hurting other people's feelings. You have to do what's best for you. When the blade comes in reverse, it has a very specific message. Your guides are telling you, be very careful with how you communicate with others in July. It could have a greater effect on your life than you want it to. The message of it is usually put the blade down, be careful with angry words, be careful with miscommunications. Um, it's also about cutting something that isn't good for you out of your life. But for whatever reason, you need to be reminded to be careful how you communicate to those around you. It could come back to bite you. It's usually put your blade back in the scaffold. There's no need to be angry or cruel with your words and not to let other people be that way with you either. You could face that in another person or you feel the need to be angry with someone. They're telling you, watch your words. For some of you, you have recently really cut something out that didn't feel good and you might have had some anger towards that person or that situation or they towards you. And now you or your person are feeling kind of mopey about it, but this was meant to be your energy. I think you and another person are kind of like, ah, you know, just sort of stuck a little bit. The lower world came out. This is about needing to be comfortable facing the past. The lower world in reverse is about the past. And it's an, it asks us a very interesting question right off the bat. I just reread it and it asks, are you the kind of person that has a hard time looking back in the past and reevaluating the past? 
And the seven of pentacles does speak to doing that. Sometimes you're sitting, you're waiting, you're trying to be in the present moment, but you have a hard time with it. When the lower world comes out, it's a moment where we spend a lot of time reevaluating the past, but at the same time, we run from it. It's a moment where we put rose tinted glasses on and try to make excuses for ourselves and other people. And we have a hard time seeing something for what it really is. It also suggests that you might have played out repeated cycles with a specific person, or perhaps you've had the same types of relationship cycles over and over and over again over the course of the last, I heard, I saw two years, three years, five years, and I also saw like even six or seven years. You know, you could have had a seven year cycle with someone or there's about to be like a seven year itch or a seven year change where you've had the same cycles play out over and over and over again. This might be making you angry and it might be time to cut those cords. Just be very careful how you communicate. It could affect your career or your family long term, but it's time to really face the past and any patterns you've been playing out and learn those lessons and know that you need to let them go. Get out of like your south node energy and move into a north node energy. Your south node sign and the characteristics and traits of your south node are lessons you've already learned and mastered and it's actually not good to repeat those cycles again, you need to move more towards your North Node and that sign, or maybe your Jupiterian sign and your Sun sign, which is kind of, and feeling your Moon sign too as well, where you know who you really are as a person, you know how you're meant to expand, you know the lessons you're supposed to learn. So they're saying to you, don't be afraid to examine the past and see it for what it really is. Learn those lessons, let those things go. You might definitely cut something out or someone might cut you out, but it was meant to clear you and just be careful how you communicate. They really wanted you to know that. At the bottom of the deck, I do have the Seven of Swords. So a little bit of betrayal or deception has been at play. Someone trying to get away with something, someone being very strategic and acting on their own behalf. So there might have been in July or before July and even now some sneaking around to some degree. Four of Wands in reverse, you might have been expecting a homecoming or someone was going to expect that with you. Either you or a person is running away from that, not getting together, no stability. Someone might be moving or you might have to quickly get out of a living situation or a job situation or a relationship or someone's doing that with you where they don't want to build a foundation. I have a King of Pentacles in reverse. So maybe someone's having a hard time with career or going through a divorce of some kind. Someone's feeling ungrounded in this situation. Five of Wands. This is competition. Competition from someone else and the Knight of Swords in reverse, regretting actions or some maybe anger and past resentment. Yeah. So the first cards out for you were the Page of Wands, Princess of Wands to the star in reverse. Some of you have been dealing with an Aquarius or a Libra, but not necessarily those signs. I think in July, there will be something that really excited you, that you were really passionate about, that you saw limitless potential in, and you tried to communicate, you try to holler at that person, but to know, or vice versa, you know, it could be reversed. Okay. The roles could be reversed, but to no avail, Someone is just disconnected. You stop wishing on a star for this situation. You're learning to trust yourself more. I think you try to put some energy into something, but without tying yourself down necessarily, and you just don't feel like the star in this situation. There seems to be a disconnect in some way, and there won't be a renewal if it's a person from the past. The chariot in reverse and the three of wands came out in reverse. Some of you have been dealing with a cancer or you have cancer in your chart, possibly. The chariot in reverse to the three of wands in reverse is, I think in July, whatever you've been driving towards, you might realize you drove towards it too fast, too hard, without a lot of direction. You might have been traveling back and forth to see a person or you were very driven in a situation. Now you feel like you don't have a lot of direction and you're not very driven towards it. You might have a hard time moving past it. I think it's a situation where initially you saw a lot of potential in it with the page of wands. And I think you still kind of wait for it in July, but with the lovers in reverse for this person and the chariot in reverse, this might've been a situation where everything just happened too quickly. The three of wands is in reverse, which tells me you're not going to stand there and wait for this person anymore, or they're not going to wait for you. If like, if you're not coming towards them, they're not going to wait or vice versa. 
The three of wands in reverse is where we lack foresight. We play it small. We don't really know where we're going in a situation with the chariot in reverse. There are a lot of unexpected delays to the point where you kind of lack confidence. I see it's possible here that this could have been a distance relationship with the star, the chariot, and the three of wands. For some of you, that's the case. I think at this point you think this is not going to work out. If it's a long distance relationship or distance of any kind or distant plans were starting to be made, I think that's going to stop. I think because of the delays that are happening in the world or just in this relationship in general, you're going to start to play it small or this person is going to start to play it small and you're like, I don't know that I can expand in, in this situation. I don't have a lot of foresight. I don't see much of an opportunity here. So I don't see you being very driven towards something. I see you kind of playing it small just because there's been a lot of delays. Make sure you're not holding on to the past. The three of wands in reverse sometimes feels like its wings are clipped because it holds on to the past. Also get your vehicle checked out. Okay, you might not have a lot of foresight about that. Some of you need to pay attention to the way you travel and communicate as well, like your Oracle card suggested. Six of Swords in reverse to the Ace of Pentacles. So some of you do try to start something new. The Ace of Pentacles can often be a new financial or career opportunity or something that will manifest into the to abundance. It is a new start. It is grounded. But the Six of Swords in reverse tells me this is very much about a personal transition that's difficult for you to make. You might want to start something new, brand new in your life, even more focused on career and family and money. But you're having a hard time moving away and moving on from something. Six of Swords in reverse is out of the frying pan into the fire where we keep repeating a cycle or we feel like we can't move on in a situation. We have unfinished business. Um, it's not like the Eight of Cups in reverse where we try one more time. This is where we know we need a change. We know we need to make a transition and release baggage that doesn't serve us. You might have a hard time circling back, not circling back to this because you really seem convinced that it might really manifest into abundance or someone might make an offer at the last minute and you'll circle back around. If you do that, make sure you can leave the past behind and really make the changes necessary. Some of you are trying to move or trying to make some kind of a transition, but for whatever reason, you can't seem to move on. I think you want something grounded here. So this may or may not be a good idea. I think it will be difficult for you because of the Oracle cards that came out. This is where you might start to get angry. Okay, someone might make an offer at the last minute and you're like, what? Just keep going, you know, just keep going. Because the final outcome for you in July is the Ten of Pentacles for the, to the Four of Cups. First of all, for some of you, this involves marriage. If anyone in this situation is married, or this is about wealth, financial security, family, and long-term success and equal contribution, that will happen. This person will stay married, or you will stay married, or you will continue to have the stability, or your person might, but it leaves you in a place where you're emotionally apathetic. If this is a job or a relationship of any kind, you might be like, yeah, I have long-term stability here, but... I'm, you're going to constantly emotionally reevaluate. Like, I don't know if this is right for me. I'm feeling a little apathetic about this. I have some regrets. I'm having a hard time finding any other offers suitable to me or to my liking. You might feel a little focused on the negative. You might just experience a lot of emotional apathy and kind of reevaluation where you're not really sure what to do. I mean, look at all the things he's thinking about. He's thinking about Jesus and he's thinking about his heart and he's thinking about his roots and what roots him. And he's thinking about magic and he's thinking about all kinds. Of, he's thinking about aliens and he's like, oh my God, this is, I don't know what to do here. Yes, I have stability or this person might have stability um, or you're just worried about that, wanting that long-term stability. Or I think some of you have been involved with a person who will continue to have the stability, leaving you feeling kind of stuck or vice versa. I think for a lot of you, this is about where you want to wind up in the long term as well with like career and where you work and stuff like that. And keep in mind that someone's not being entirely honest either. Yeah, somebody else might have the stability and you're left just sort of sitting there like this. Yeah, I've just I'm sort of feeling apathetic with both of these cards. So think about what you can do to make changes. You can absolutely not play it small and 
not circle back around to something just because they're offering you one pinnacle. You definitely want to have expansion with relationships or work, and you definitely want to feel like you're in control of where it's going. You know, you want to keep the GPS on at all times in your life, being accountable for the direction things are going. So think about what direction you want to go and think about the future. Don't hold on to the past. I see you guys a little stuck. So July hasn't happened yet. Think about what you can do to make some changes. You might have your reasons for waiting, but there is going to be a little bit of trickery. And I don't know that you're going to have a solid foundation with the four of wands in reverse or a homecoming. The person you're connecting to, the the way they see themselves is the lovers in reverse. So you could be connecting to a Gemini possibly or someone that has Gemini in their in the chart. I think this person does see you as a lover, but I think that they also might be very paranoid that you have a lot of choices or they themselves have a lot of choices. When the lovers comes in reverse, it's usually because we dove right into something really quickly. You guys could have been lovers at one point, and it could be a very passionate connection. But for whatever reason, they see themselves as not your lover in July, for whatever reason. They're also showing me strength in reverse. So strength only comes out when it's necessary. This person could have like a Leo moon rising or Venus sign, possibly, um, or you could strength is where we really show up and we face a person in a situation with strength. We get it together. We swallow our pride. We're not afraid to talk to the other person. We know that we need to tame our pride and our emotion, desire, anything we're not supposed to do. It's like where we're the, the human resources department in our own life. This person's feeling a lot of self-doubt in regards to the relationship they have with you. They feel very drained and low energy um, they're worried they're going to cave in and do something or say something they shouldn't. They might be worried about their emotions or their pride or even desire or insecurities or inadequacies getting in the way. So I see this person wanting to be strong and wanting to be your lover possibly, but there's stuff getting in the way for them. Apparently they just can't, I don't think this person's really going to be able to deal obviously because you're left kind of moping here thinking there's going to be stability. I don't know. Don't this, the star in reverse is about self-trust and learning to trust yourself. Okay. Trust yourself. You might not feel like the star in the situation, but the stars on the table, you can have a sense of renewal and a rebirth from within the star is something we do by ourselves. Another person's usually not involved with it. Just keep at it looking for discovery. I love the page of wands for you. You're like, whatever. I mean, I'm still inspired. I'm still going to discover more. I still see limitless potential. And I do know that I'm a free spirit. If I'm not the star in this situation, I will be in another one. The actions they want to take towards you are interesting. Queen of Cups to the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So this person could be focused on a water sign or they are a water sign. A Queen of Cups is a mother, a married person. It's a person with a man or a woman. It's a person with a lot of compassion. They're very compassionate. They're very caring. They're trying to be emotionally stable and in flow, but when it comes to setting up a conservative, good working routine with you, that's this Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This person can't really get it together. They feel a little stuck. They might feel a little bored. They can't finish what they start. They might work too much or not enough. They might feel the need to be ultra conservative and pull back in this situation. They might be expecting perfection. Bottom line is, they just can't put in the good routine. They might be a very caring person, but they're not going to show up and be your boyfriend or be your girlfriend. Something is making them stuck here. And I think it's because someone's being a little dishonest in this situation. Yeah. What's at the top of this deck? Here's the star man. That's um, the magician. So somebody, you do want to manifest something. Justice. That's Libra. That's a marriage card. That's a card of fairness and balance. Someone wants to manifest justice in this situation, two of pentacles in reverse, but someone's dropped all the balls here, not able to balance it out. That could be a person external. Three of pentacles, you might get noticed or you might notice this person. This could be happening at work, building on something, king of wands in reverse. So this king of wands in reverse is usually all about himself and can't really take the lead, doesn't feel very inspired in a situation. Worst case scenario, it's someone that just wants to be kind of like the other man or a karmic or a player possibly, or you're just not feeling it with somebody. 
you might want to build and grow with them, but there's not a long, lot of long-term success. Yeah. So Sag, that's your prediction for July in love. Um, if it resonates with you, I hope it helps you. Remember, July hasn't happened yet. We'll check back in in a couple of weeks. All of this could change. Just remember, if you're going to wait and pout about anything, make sure that you're focused on more than just the pentacles. Yes, something could be very stable or someone's in a stable situation. Make sure that someone else is tilling this garden with you. I do think you want to take a long-term view of success. We all go through this four of cups moment where we just kind of emotionally reevaluate and we're not sure what to do. I would definitely focus on being the six of swords in the upright above all else where we do change. We do release baggage that no longer serves us. We transition and we heal and move to calmer waters. We do this with or without a person. Don't keep circling back to a person until it pisses you off thinking they'll get on board. They might, they might not. For now, despite their Queen of Cups energy, there might be things going on that they just shouldn't do or can't do right now and they can't put in a good routine. Yeah. Okay, Sag, that's your reading for July. I hope it helps you. I'm always listening to the universe for you, Sagittarius. I really love you guys. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you next time.